Creole friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and yes, I am pregnant again with baby number two. I have been so anxious to tell you guys. I've been trying to film like close-ups. I've had to have my editor like zoom in to hide the bump. I kept worrying if you guys were going to see or if you would notice, but I think I did a pretty good job at finding outfits that were like loose, baggy, so you wouldn't really ask questions. I mean, only like a handful of you still need to learn that you should never ask a woman if she's pregnant before she announces for a plethora of reasons. We'll get into that one in another video. But yes, I'm excited to share this with you guys. Some of you were here for baby number one. You were here along that whole journey. You've seen Jalen grow up to be two years old now. So now they will be two and a half years apart and I am having a boy. Two boys. Did not know I was a boy mom, but here we are. And I'm just so excited to see what this baby is gonna like look like. Cause when you think about it, you're like, okay, Royce plus Bianca as a boy equals Jalen. But now Royce plus Bianca as a, another boy is gonna not equal Jalen. So what does that mean? <laughs> so obviously we know that siblings look, can look similar, but look different. But when you're like the parents, like, well, what what's gonna be different? And it's just gonna be really interesting to see how Baby number one is different from baby number two. But let me show you the bump, the bump that I have been hiding for about three-ish months now. Ta-da! Probably should have wore a darker color, but there is my hump, my lovely lady lump. Check it out. I haven't been wearing any tight clothes, so I feel like I look even bigger today. <laughs> Now in general, I am gonna keep most of my baby talk stuff on my family channel, which is called RNB Fam. If you guys aren't following us, make sure you subscribe so you can get all the updates on the baby if you care. I'm gonna try to keep this channel, you know, more hair, beauty, all that jazz. But if you want all the baby stuff, go to RNB Fam. Since I do owe you a hairstyle for the week, I'm gonna do something really easy and simple because, quite frankly, gonna be ain't nobody got time for that hairstyle to still get credit for today. So I know that some of you aren't doing my challenge every week like you're supposed to because you're claiming that things are too hard, but I'm not asking for much. Like just don't wear your hair down or in a bun. Just do anything. It can be simple. It doesn't have to be like these crazy, you know, bun hawks that I'm doing or, you know, just do the something, add a hair clip. That's basically what I'm gonna do today. Something super simple while I continue to talk about this baby. <laughs> so right now I'm just gonna separate my curls. Uh, I just put some Curl Smith oil on my hands just to make it a little bit bigger. This is day one hair. I use Lus shampoo and conditioner in the shower and I use their new gel, which I'm still trying out. It's definitely a soft hold. So I wanna see how I like it all week and then I'll probably hit them up and ask to do a sponsored video. But I'm still in the testing phase. Anyways, back to the baby. When did I find out? First of all, this baby was 100% planned. Like I literally planned it to get a certain zodiac sign. <laughs> well, not really. I was honestly just trying to avoid a certain zodiac sign. I know that sounds crazy, but I did it, okay? People try to say you can't you know, plan that, but well, you could try. And if you just use protection during the months that will create that type of baby, what are we talking about? It's simple science. <laughs> so luckily for me, very fortunate. It did work on the first try. As you guys saw, I was tracking my ovulation. I used that little app and it lets you know when you're ovulating. So if you do the thing during ovulation window, you have a good chance of becoming pregnant. So that's what we did and it worked. And because of that, I kind of had a feeling that I was pregnant when I went to Arizona with Bounce Curl. So confession, every time you saw me go like cheers or like take a picture of my drink, it was a virgin drink. Sorry to all of my curl friends that I definitely played on that trip. My friends thought I was just like alcoholic. <laughs> like they're like, oh, there's Bianca at the bar again. And I'm like, you know me. But little did they know I was whispering, can I have a virgin please? And they had no idea. And like Gio was there and I gave him my shots because 
guys don't ask questions. They don't like question why you're not drinking. I was like, okay, cool, another shot for me. And Gio would take my shot <laughs> and be off the hook. So I'm sorry. I played everybody on that trip. You thought I was, you know, tipsy with you. I was not, I'm just a fun person. But they had open bar. Like they paid for all of our food, all of our drinks, unlimited drinks, and I could not drink anything. So that part was a little, little bit of a bummer. But I just, you know, just in case I was, because I knew I was trying, I didn't drink anything. And I'm glad I did it. So tomorrow I find out if I am loaded or pregnant. I avoided all alcohol this weekend. It sucked, because it was open bar. But um, it's very possible there's something brewing in there, so. Couldn't risk it. I faked everyone out. I kept taking drinks and giving them to other people and ordering pineapple juice. G girl was sober the whole trip. Gotcha. That was that. That was, um, when was that? Like October or November? And then we found out, we took a test, I think towards the, it was like a little bit after Thanksgiving. And then I recorded me taking a pregnancy test, I'm not taking it. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> I recorded like our reaction when I first got the positive pregnancy test. So that video will be on r Fam. And then I also recorded when we figured out the gender, that will also be on r Fam. We told our families and friends, well I told our families on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So I put everything in like a little box and a little onesie that said coming soon and the ultrasound and the pregnancy test. So I filmed all that. That'll be at R&B Fam. So if you want to see all the baby funness, make sure you subscribe. I have this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I want to see how it works. I've never used it before. Let's make sure it's silicone free. I know some people think it's weird to use a dry shampoo on a clean scalp, but it usually gives me volume. So let's just, let's just try this. Oh, okay. It does leave a little bit of whiteness if you go too close. Ooh, it smells good though. Hmm, okay, give me some zhuzh. I really like the smell. So funny enough, my mom had like literally the same exact face <laughs> reaction as the first time. Like I probably could just put like a side by side of like the same exact face that she made. Um, there, Everyone was definitely excited. And this time around, I'm gonna be doing videos on like what I'm doing differently for baby number two how I'm feeling differently. Oh yes, okay. I'm gonna be doing videos on all of that kind of stuff. But if you guys remembered last time, I had a whole like pretend game night with my friends and I told them via game night. And then um, I had a different like announcement for all of my friends. I did a big gender reveal party, but now we are still technically in a pandemic. As much as some of us have mentally checked out, we still in here. So still not really in the like, let's throw a big party type of mood just yet. I definitely am going out more. Some of you guys saw I was at the Super Bowl. So I'm still like living life, but just not really into the whole party scene yet. I also decided that I didn't want to do a gender reveal party because that was just so stressful. I could not take the stress. It's one thing having like your friends and family giving you their opinions on, oh, I think it's going to be a boy, I think it's going to be a girl, da da da. But like I have over half a million subscribers here on YouTube, 150k on Instagram. And that was just like too many opinions in my ear. Like people like, I know it's gonna be a girl, for sure gonna be a girl. I think it's gonna be a boy because X, Y, Z. And then like this, you get start getting all those opinions in your head and then you start thinking one thing and it could just, it stressed me out, honestly. And I just didn't wanna go through everyone's opinion this time. So I said, I'm going to announce that I'm pregnant and the sex of the baby at the same time. And that's why I did it the way that I did. So everyone just knows that I just cut out that whole middle part, even though a handful of you must have missed the balloon and still made your um, wrong predictions. <laughs>
but I had to be real strategic on when I even wanted to post my announcement. We did post that on Instagram on Valentine's Day. I kind of got to a point where I couldn't hide my belly anymore because I am showing a lot sooner for baby number two than baby number one. Like I probably could have hid baby number one much further, but this time it's like, hello, I'm there. For today's hairstyle, I'm just gonna do a little twisty do and pull it back, like super simple. So let's just do this and see if I could multitask and talk at the same time. Let's do that a little bit, maybe. Yeah. So I'm gonna take just a little bit right here and then twist it. So how am I feeling? Um, kind of the same. I know that people say that every pregnancy is different. In the beginning, I thought I was feeling a little bit of morning sickness, not to the point where I actually wanted to throw up, but it's kind of felt like, ugh, and I didn't want to, I'm just gonna pop, bobby pin this back. Um, I just didn't really like have like an appetite in the morning. I'm always extremely tired first trimester, which is what everyone says kind of happens. And then they say that you get your energy back second trimester. First baby, I got my energy back like the day of second trimester. But this time, I'm in second trimester and I'm still a little tired. Granted, I do now have a toddler and I'm pregnant this time, so that probably has something to do with it. But my energy is definitely coming back. So here is the hairstyle. <laughs> Super easy, just twist, twist, pull it back. I'm gonna add a little bit of bling to kind of zhuzh it up. I'm kind of cover the bobby pins. I might be able to move the bobby pins now. I don't know if you can see them. There you go. And that's all there is to it. I'm not asking for much, guys. The hairstyle challenge never said it had to be a very complicated hairstyle. Just do something different. You better try this one, because like I literally did this in, in three seconds. You, you can do this. I feel like it's very like dainty, girly, like Athena princess crown. It could be formal, it could be casual, whatever you want it to be. But besides being tired, I feel great. I haven't really worked out as much as baby number one because we were back in the gym. So I was working out every single day, basically until like the last few weeks of my pregnancy. We have been working out at home ever since we got locked down with quarantine. So I just started working out literally yesterday, very sore. Uh, I do want to get back in that just to, you know, keep my body healthy and help with my actual birthing and the recovery after just so my body stays active and flexible. But this baby is due this summer, coming this summer. First time I had a winter baby, so this will be my summer baby. Don't know how my summer body's gonna look, you know, bikini wise. I am going to Costa Rica still in March. My trip is officially closed. I'm really excited to meet you all. I gotta figure out pregnancy outfits for that. Please let me know if you know some cute maternity places or just places that have cute clothes that'll actually cover my bump. Everything now is like crop tops. I don't want to wear a crop top. Shout out to Rihanna, who's literally just wearing diamonds over her belly. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. I still got some stretch marks from the first baby. But yeah, leave me some suggestions. I need some stretchier clothes now. But I'm just glad I don't have to hide this from you guys anymore. I don't like having secrets with you guys. So now that everything's out, you know what it is. I hope you enjoyed our reveal video and I have just so many more videos, baby videos planned for our family channel. We got to get back on posting on that channel and on our Instagram. So if you're pregnant, expecting, want to get pregnant or just care about me enough to want to know about my baby, please follow those channels. I will be doing a whole video called things you shouldn't say to pregnant women and that should be a must watch for everybody. Yes, even you. But yes, I was pregnant at the black hair experience. I tried to wear like a baggy shirt. I think I did a pretty good job of covering it. I did all these activations with Cantu. So I was like, wow, I need all these different outfits to hide the baby. So that was the first one that they invited me to a fashion show. So now I needed something like fancier to also hide the bump, which I think I did a good job there. And then I went to the Super Bowl and wore like a baggy football t-shirt. I was like, I just gotta get to Valentine's Day so I can tell people and wear what I want. I would love to do like, baby fashion videos some people are really good at like accentuating the bump and having still cute outfits so hopefully that can be me now that my energy is coming back but yeah I just 
wanted you guys to know the news. If you follow me on Instagram, you already knew this. If you haven't yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. All the breaking news is on Instagram. Follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And that way you could always be first to know. If you're excited for me, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Also check out our R&B fam page and leave me any comments on the videos that you want to see now that I'm pregnant. We even keep it beauty wise like skincare products that I can use now that I'm pregnant versus ingredients that I can't use. Um, I don't know, whatever topics you want to see, leave me a comment and let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Thank you.